G'day guys, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel. Today, it is Western Derby edition. I don't think we've ever bothered to do like a derby preview before, despite like mm. the channel being comprised half of Eagles fans, half of Dockers fans. But today, I'm joined by Druzy. Uh, we believe this, we worked out this is probably the first derby since we've been mates. So, how are you feeling, Drews? I'm fucking nervous. Like, are you? My first waking moment is Sunday. My last really? waking moment is Sunday. Oh, I just... The anticipation of a derby, it's like nothing else. Even though we get belted every time. Mm. Um, yeah, no, I'm very keen for it, but also very scared about the outcome. Really? I feel the opposite of it. I think I think Eagles fans are in a position right now where we're trying to forget football exists because of <laughs> what happened on Saturday morning against Geelong, uh, losing by 100 points. But uh, generally, I don't enjoy derbies. And I think it's like generally when you're the favourite or expected to win, there's, mm. it feels like there's more riding on it yeah. to some extent. Um, and while I would hate to lose, I'm just like... Just try not to really reflect on what could possibly happen on that Sunday night. Yeah, I don't know. I I can't not take it loss to the Eagles like lightly. Like, Do you enjoy derbies? No, 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 no way. <laughs> <laughs> not, not since winning since 2015. Like it's it's yeah. a traumatic event twice a year. Just about. Um, mm. I mean, we're winning. It's great. It's but, true. It's um, been a while. It's just like making YouTube videos. Like when you when you're banging them out, you're the the best man alive. You're never gonna die, and then you get like a stinker that you drop, and it's like ah, rats. I'm never doing this again. Yeah, so, yeah. It's a bit like that. Very true. No, I've never enjoyed derbies. I I don't mind Fremantle. I, I like kind of almost even like them. It's just mm. like, the, but the way I think of it is like a little brother. It's almost like Logan Paul and Jake Paul. It's like I want you to don't do call well. me Jake Paul. Yeah, you're the Jake Paul. Yeah, <laughs> oh, rat. Um, but I I want you to do well, but I never want you to do better than me. Yeah. So I would. Ne I hate losing to Fremantle, but I, I like if they have a good away win. I'm like, oh yeah, that's sick. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. But nah, uh, I just love seeing the Eagles lose at any opportunity. Yeah. To be honest, I'm a I'm a sour Freo fan who's been. <laughs> beaten up by my older brother ever since I was born. So. <laughs> Do you remember what happened last time you played us? So it was in a COVID season. I believe you went to the game. It was mm. a free or home game. Uh, I want to say in the first half of last year. Uh, I think the Eagles would have got the chocolates by a few goals. Mm. Do you remember the game? I think it was like 24 points that he's won by yeah. first game back from COVID. Mm. Yeah, I think we played decent in the first quarter and that was it. And then you guys just round us off our feet for the rest of the game. It was yeah. a pretty boring derby, though. Yeah, to be fair. This, there probably has only been a handful of good ones. I think I recall a really good derby in the first half of 2018, and that was the year we actually won the flag. But And it was the first derby at Optus, free yeah. home game. And I think the Eagles won by about, I'm going to say, either 7 points or 10 points. It was a really, right. really good contest. And yeah, then, I don't really remember them. It's like my, my yeah. brain just sorts its mind out. And it's like, get, get these traumatic events out of my brain. <laughs> like, I just forget them. Yeah. But, yeah, it'll come to you later in the form of PTSD. But uh, <laughs> yeah, do you have like any particular favorite derby memories that you remember? I remember Pav kicking like eight goals or nine goals. Mm. He like outscored the Eagles by himself. Yeah, Prime Pav. That's when yeah we won. I think like nine in a row or something yeah. like that. It's a weird one where you won like nine and then we've won ten. Like, yeah, it's traded off really hard. Just swings. Like I think Derby fifty Dockers had twenty. 24 wins and Eagles had 25 and it could have equaled it. Mm, I, th um, I think it was a bit earlier than that, but I think it yeah. was like 20 to 21. Yeah, yeah, something like that. And then ever since then, Eagles have just run away with it. Yeah. Um, so that one was good when Pav um, yeah, kicked eight or whatever it was. Mm. I remember when Hayden Valentine burst into the scene as well. I think mm. he kicked like four or five in a derby. I remember yeah. he like... Um, it was just a real good passage of forward pressure. He just, yeah, nabbed the ball and just kicked it into the third tier. At, I think it was Patterson at the time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the wins... Always. <laughs> so good. Memorable. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any particularly painful? Oh well, games? obviously the Hayden Valentine after the siren. Oh yeah. Um yeah, I was at that game and everyone thought it was going in because Hayden Valentine was running all off. Yeah. He's fucking a hand in the air like he just won the game. Yeah. Um, didn't. That was a great game. That was one of the best derbies I can remember. Mm. So that was pretty painful. Um, the worst. 100% the worst was Ross Lyons' last derby where he's absolutely belted us mm, uh, in 2019. Yeah. Yeah, that was terrible. I had my family from England over and I was like, here we go, we got the derby, got them around the dockers, <laughs> fire up, and they just got absolutely dicked. I think it was like 86 points yeah, or something like you, that. You guys kicked two goals 19 I yeah. remember, in the wet. I remember watching that game overseas and uh, the form lines were intercepting, as they so often do, and it's kind mm. of happening this year as well, but the form lines were like the Eagles were going through a bit of a slump from memory. And I think it was... We Jonathan lost the week before to Carlton. 
Scotland mark now oh, if you kick okay. that goal. All right, so maybe I'm not quite remembering it right, but I do remember not long before that, uh, I think it was um, I think it was Jonathan Brown said Fremantle the better WA team, and we were the yeah. reigning premiers at this point, and True. then we came and made a statement. That was that was probably one of my favourite derbies. Yeah. The Ballantyne one was weird because we were about four goals up with five minutes to go. I don't know if people remember this, but right. we were actually like so far in front, and Fremantle just destroyed us for the last five minutes. Mm. And I remember the, the feeling when we won wasn't like, oh my God, we've won an amazing game. It was like, thank God. Yeah. Thank God. I think my most painful one is the first one I saw us lose. You won't remember this because you were like one. Yeah. But um, <laughs> I remember Paul Medhurst kicking a snap over his shoulder. I think it was the last derby of 20, 2003. Yeah, okay. And that was the first year you guys finished higher than us as well. True. So it was quite a big derby, that one. Yeah. So thankfully, there haven't been too many good derbies over the last few oh, years. Cause, uh, it's been painful, eh? Hey? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you always look forward to them, but dread them at the same time. Mm. Because yeah, the... Not risk reward, but like you can feel absolute euphoria or just absolute pit depression. Yeah. So, <laughs> there's no in between. Yeah, and uh, one of us will be in the the war yeah. either of those states this weekend. I'm sure. I'm sure because there's still plenty to play for. Um, we'll talk about this game specifically now. Um, let's give us. Why don't we start with Fremantle? Um, we'll talk about what their season's been like in a snapshot. So, have you, what have you made of the Dockers so far this year? System is solid. I'm starting to have a little bit of faith in the the Justin Longmuir. Um, set up. I'm mm-hmm. though very defensively sound, boring footy. But once we have the confidence to take the ball out of the back half, we can go. We can really get run off that half back line. We only really score goals in bunches. Like we won't kick say like four or five a quarter. We'll have one quarter where we kick mm. two, one quarter where we kick six, mm. and like we can't keep kicking goals. I think we'll like come out of our shell, kick a couple goals, and then get back into our defensive structure, which serves us well. Like We've won three on the trot, which is good. Ever since our loss to Cullen, we've looked pretty serviceable, pretty solid. Um, but you can't just be a solid side against West Coast. You have to be really good. You have to be on top of your game. You're not going to have an average performance against West Coast and win. But... I think this is the best chance we've had in the last five years. Although mm. I don't think we're going to win, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. You guys are what's four and two, so you're actually higher on us than uh, higher Let's than us on the ladder. Right. So hopefully <laughs> we, we change that this week. But uh, yeah, clearly the worst result this year was that away game to Carlton. Mm-hmm. You got pants, and uh, we saw you live stream it. Um, and your probably best win was the one away win you've had against Adelaide in mm. Adelaide, which was a good win. Talking about West Coast, they've been uh, I think fair to say up and down. Good, solid win at home against Gold Coast, tough away loss to the Bulldogs, convincing win over Port, although they didn't really show up, and then a terrible second half against St Kilda. So in the first four rounds, only two really bad quarters, I would yeah. say. Round five, we beat Collingwood, a game we're expected to win. Round six, we have our worst loss in over a decade. And mm. then it's like, where the fuck do we, yeah. we rate them now? Overall, I think there has been a lot of, not injury excuses, but there has been a fair cop of injuries. I think the Eagles actually have the worst injury list in the league by games experience yeah, so okay. um, particularly against Geelong with Kennedy and her now yeah. as well so a um, bit of upside there on the topic of team news uh, what do you think will be the changes if any for Fremantle yeah today? don't think there will be any really? um, so Cheryl was out last week he's done a something in his ankle, ankle or yeah. tendon or something in there so mm. he was out last week so Croden come in but I don't think there's going to be any ends that yeah. we know of there's no reason to we've won by 50 points so I mm. think it's going to be unchanged but yeah big out would be Chera. Um, and yeah, we expected to have Hamling back, but he won't be back. Um, right. So yeah, same as last week, probably. Good stable side then for the Dockers. On the Eagles side of the ledger, I think we are... So the players we have out, uh, just to get all my excuses in early. No, <laughs> yeah, no, nah. not really. But like, uh, Yo has been out for the whole season so far. Shuey's only played um, the one game. Um, so they're both out. Josh Kennedy, I think we'll be back in, but we've lost McGovern, we've lost Liam Ryan for. Um, mm. I think McGovern's only a two weaker at this stage. Pa- uh, Jamie Cripps is in doubt as well, so okay. um, a little bit of adversity there. But Kennedy back in this week and Shannon Hearn, so I feel better if like the players we had coming in were mids. Yeah, um, I think the defence has held up. I think Witherden's been good without Hearn, and I think Allen and Darling can hold their own with Waterman. Kennedy and, and Hearn are probably the biggest benefit they'll add is experience and particularly Hearn I think he's had a good season this year so um, yeah a little bit of improvement for Will him. Witherden's role be different this week with Hearn back in? There's a chance he misses altogether because I think it, like because he's a slow midfielder whose role is to like attack from the back half mm-hmm. to have both him and Hearn in the side 
um, might be a little bit iffy. And yeah. I, I think they'd favour a Nelson and Cole in that back line yeah. because of the roles they play. Someone um, a bit quicker. Yeah, so Witherden could be an unlucky one to come out. I'm not yeah, too sure okay. what they're going to do. But then again, Gov is out, so they might just go shorter with yeah. Fremantle's forward line not being, you know, having heaps of tall timber. Yeah, that's the way that Freo score really is just like quick counter attacking football. Yeah. Um, like just put Frederick or Lockie Shields or Trav Collier into space a lot of the time because we sit so deep, like we don't have possession of the ball in the front half much yeah so like when we do get the ball we go quick yeah you have like your lead ups in like Tavener Darcy um, not that he runs much but <laughs> 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 so yeah those boys lead up sort of thing and then the smalls running behind but yeah um, if you have some slow defenders in that could be nice could be nice <laughs> alright let's make a case for either side winning this game so if Freo win this game Drews mm-hmm. how are they going to do it David Mundy yeah nah yeah just the midfield battle because over the years, obviously, you've had Shuey, you've had Yo, Gaff, and they've just done a business on us. Um, we, what? It sounds like you're pooping on, we're pooping on your chests. Yeah, it felt like uh, it as yeah. well. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, because our midfield's so young with Chera, Brayshaw, um, and yeah, Fife's usually been in there, Walters on derby days, usually. You've just dicked us every year, like, especially because you've been so good, like, um, during this period as well. We've just been dominated in clearances. I remember that game that I mentioned before at the end of um, 2019. Like, you were just winning clearance after clearance. It was so demoralizing. Mm. So we have to put an emphasis on on the stoppages, which I'm sure they will. Not that I know anything about football, but um, we have to match them in the clearances. That's our best chance. Like, because we, we're we really inaccurate at kicking a goal. I think we're literally the most inaccurate side in the competition. Yeah. So, yeah, we just need to maintain the ball. Yeah, get clearances. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I think the, I'll add to that... Uh, the midfield is definitely part of the ground it'll happen but also just sheer intensity and interest Mm. and I can see Fremantle just if if they apply like really intense pressure throughout the game that's how they can win it because the Eagles have looked flat every second week at the moment and if they're just slightly off their game Fremantle can definitely catch them for the Eagles I think uh, what can win it for them is yes they have a poor midfield uh, but Fremantle's scoring power yeah. Um, <laughs> as I as a phrase I've used a lot this year um, I feel like our defence is good enough to suppress that even without Gov I think sometimes with Gov out Barras plays better we might send Oscar Allen down back maybe Harry Edwards comes into the team but generally speaking I think if we can just strangle you with our defence and, and limit your scoring our yeah. forward line's good enough to win uh, so yeah I'm feeling pretty decent I'm pretty it. sure that's what will happen as well <laughs> eh? Like you're, our forward line is just the weakest line mm. by a country mile like yeah. our defence is set up really solid Midfield, I think, is top five in the league, just about. Yeah. If you can just stop any forward entries, which we don't get much of, I think you'll be fine. Mm. But Freo, like, really fold in derbies a lot of the time as well. Like, we don't play with passionate times in derbies, which is frustrating. Like, yeah. obviously, the players want to win, but I don't know. As soon as the going gets tough, the Eagles get going, and Freo just sort of slow down. That's what a young side does, I suppose. Like, they can't really work themselves back into the contest. But I just hope we can play at least three quarters for once. Yeah. Just show some heart until the final siren. We did give our tips on the uh, on the Just the Tips video, um, so go check it out for the entire round. But Drew, uh, give us a prediction and also your Ross Glendinning uh, Allen medal winner. Mm. All right. Well, it pains me to say it, but I do think West Coast will win. Margin. I just... 27 points, I reckon. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. We, we just can't kick goals. Mm. Like, it's, it's so frustrating. But yeah, unfortunately, I think West Coast will win, which means a West Coast player will win the medal. I can't say Gaff because he knocked out Brayshaw <laughs> and I'd hate that maggot. I'll say uh, Tim Kelly. Yeah. Yeah. Fair Fucking enough. hope not, though. Yeah. Come on, you dockers. I think the Eagles will win uh, a dour and crappy game by 17 points. And... Uh, on the basis of that, I think Shannon Hearn will get the glowing yeah. medal. I think he'll have 30 touches and just control proceedings from the back half. Definitely, I'm giving Fremantle a chance here. I'm not writing them off at all, but um, that's just probably my conservative prediction. If we happen to win by a lot, which I'm not expecting either, then I could see Oscar Allen winning yeah. it because he might get on the end of a few and he loves a bag of goals. So to spice up this video a little bit, Drews, we did put on some bets for this game. So uh, I'll show people what I did on a multi. I did a three-legged multi. It's a wonder I get pants that fit. So I've done a same game multi. Uh, I've got the odds boosted on sports bet as well to $9.20. So I've gone West Coast 1-39 to win. Uh, I'm expecting slightly lower scoring. I think the weather conditions will be fine, but still, I'm just expecting like a, a dour contest. So under 160.5, and at any time goal scorer is one of the form players of the competition, David Mundy right now. He's kicked, well, kicked three last week, I think, so I can see him getting on the end of it. So that's paying $9.20. I put down five bucks for $46, and I will shout entry at Metro's.
So because I'm a sports bet addict, I've actually got a bonus bet in the in the account. Huge. So I've chucked that down. But I've gone Oscar Allen two goals and Jack Darling two goals or more. Um, just because you always dick us and those mm. are your most reliable forwards, I think, at the moment. It's a lot of sexual energy in your predictions uh, today. <laughs> Travis Collier has been someone that's been getting a goal a week, just about. Mm. Um, he was paying like $1. fifty for an anytime goal scorer, so I chucked him on. Um, that's Yeah, he's a pretty reliable bet. I've gone West Coast, big, li- big win, little win. Uh, 1 to 39 mm-hmm. unfortunately but mm-hmm. it pays money but it, it sure does that is how bets work yeah <laughs> and uh, Andrew Gaff the maggot dog to get 25 <laughs> or more disposals cool guys that's all we've got for today in the derby preview uh, which is happening this weekend so we're still hoping we're kind of not in lockdown anymore but there's some restrictions in WA at the moment uh, so we don't know if we can go to this game so hopefully we will otherwise you will catch it on the, uh, on the uh, probably both of our channels let's mm-hmm. face it we're probably both going to live stream separately um, which is going to be weird, buddy. We're yeah. going to be competing. But um, yeah. It, Come to my stream. It must be done. If you haven't come across this man before, uh, do it now. Link in the description, Druzy. We wanted to get him to 4,000 subscribers by the start of May. And I think we, we need about 20 days. So dwindling. Really need your help getting, getting there, guys. Please um, subscribe, please. I need all the help I can get. I need to pay my rent, please. We do do a weekly show called The Drew Footy Show. In addition to just the tips on my channel, you can find The Drew Footy Show on Druzy's channel. So make sure you subscribe to his channel and take part in all the fun. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on Sunday. Go eat. Go the fucking Dockers. Come on, man. Now go to Dockers.